Welcome back, kings, kings and queens. Si Jesus ang atuang King of Kings, so kita ang gagmay ng kings and queens. We are again here sa atong daily love language devotional for couples. And if you're new here and you'd like to learn more about your relationship with your spouse with the Word of God, then click subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today is June 2. Wait, June 12. <laughs> June 12 is Independence Day. Hmm. Okay. Murag, no? Murag, ano? Ano sa mga Sige, ito naman. No, Independence Day. Uh, Buhian na ito ang gumba. Ay, ay! <laughs> ang itong pagkaisigutan, Choosing Love. Choosing Love. Okay. So, uh, sa John chapter 13, verse 34, ingon deha. Now I am giving you a new commandment. Commandment: Love each other, just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Yes. So, just as I have loved you, you should love each other. <clears throat> uh, love language. So, mm. the kanisang a devotional is talking about kanang siguro for spouses nga kanang murag nawala ang warm feelings no kay kanang during the time nga mawala ang ato ang so during the time nga mawala ang ato ang warm feelings for each other mo go na nga time nga murag feeling na to na fall out of love ko no so kanang in Shadiri, uh, he, the, the, the author sa book, si Gary Chapman, naka, naka write siya of book nga, the five love languages. So, ang kada person, naana siya ay kanang murag pinaka language sa love nga, kanang murag mo speak niya, mas ma feel niya nga love siya. So, Again, ang kaning na five lo- love languages are number one is quality, quality time. time, number two is words of affirmation, number Gifts. three acts, acts of, of service, service. and physical, physical touch. touch. So, kani siya nga lima <coughs> nga kanang language sa love. These are the languages sa love nga kanang usually mo speak yun sa mga tao, but Within these five la- love languages, lahi-lahi ang tao. Mm-hmm. Lahi-lahi ang tao. So, um, some, ang uban, ang pinaka love language nga ma-feel good nila nga gilove sila o taman is when you, you sh- uh, when you say words of affirmation to them. Mm-hmm. Na I love you, or guwapagid ka, or kanang the best you ka, or something. Yan na. So, inga na ang inga na ang kanang ko ang different ang kada tao. So, kani siya um uh, so many couples rediscover their warm emotional feelings for each other when they when they read the book. So, so many peep uh, kanang couples murag na na learn nila or nabalik ang ilahang ka-warmth sa ilahang emotions during pareha itong time nga ka ng uyab pa sila when they did this one no so uh, kani siya that person lo- learned the love language that spoke deep, deeply to his or her spouse and spoke it regularly so uh, mo na siya gi-encourage sa ito ang devotional for today that just like the Lord loved us kay ang uh, si Lord manggod kay kanang ang iyahang love for us is not based on emotions ba? so it's not based on emotions pero kanang for sure within within kita nga mga couples dili gina mawala ng emotional warm. No, so um for us kung gusto ta nga 
ka nang ma-feel na to balik ka ang emotional warmth sa ato ang relationship, you have to speak the love language nga gikinahanglan sa imuhang partner. So, kintay si Kiking, ang iyahang love language, ang first is acts of service. Mm-hmm. And then the second is physical touch. Mm-hmm. So, uh, kana siya nga love language, mo na'y dapat na kung i- kanang buhat niya kadadla mm-hmm. so that he is going to feel more and more love <coughs> no so um in return siya nga kanang ang ako ang ang ako ang pinaka love language is quality time and words of affirmation mm-hmm. so he is going to do that to me para mabalik ang warmth sa emotions mm-hmm. no so Mona siya, emotional love can be rediscovered. Mm. So, rediscovered meaning? Madiscover, ano ang balik. Okay. Kanang... Nadiscover na niyo, pero yung mong rediscover. Okay. Yung mong ibalik ang discovery. Kaya iba sin, nakalimta na. Mm. Di ba? Kay, ang emotional love na to, kay present magin siya during mm. the time na uyab pa. Mm-mm. Or, basin, or bago pang uyab. Mm-hmm. No, o o ang time nga murag ka nang 3 years, 4 years, 5 years na ang ang panaguyab gani kay murag wala na. Matud, Basta kay <laughs> matud pa nila nga bago pang minyo ah, dili pa na oh, dili pa na makita nang mga tinaguan. Pero kung karang dugay-dugay nang minyo, di na ni may buwan daw na. Uy, nani din ako ang bana. Oh, Man, samot na kay makita na ang mga tinaguan di murag ka po na ay kanang kuan din na gid siguro ko mailove balik <coughs> din <coughs> ayan din na siguro ko mailove balik sa ko ang partner so nga na ba kanang aron mailove balik ang imong partner ninyo then you have to do those love languages nga gikinahanglan niya the key or ang yabi or the solution to l- is learning your spouse's love language. So, kanang you have to know kung sa ang pinaka love language sa imong spouse so that you will be able to do it to him or her. No, pangutano ni mo siya on sa pinaka love language gid niya. Okay? And choosing to speak it regularly, do it regularly. No, every day. Um warm feelings result from loving action so exactly when you do um loving actions katong love languages five love languages when you do those five love languages kanang ito it will result to warm feelings sa sa imong recipient or sa imong gi kanang di padungan sa love and then jesus commanded his disciples and by extensions, all believers to love each other as He loved them. Mm-hmm. No, so, kanang gi, gi, gi sugo man ta ni Jesus to love each other. So, His love is not measured in warm feelings, although I have no doubt those are present. Rather, we know Jesus loves us because of what He did for us. Mm-hmm. Diba? Uh, kita as Christians, Kanang, that is the reason why kanang na change ta. It's not because kanang na feel na to una nga kanang na tay warm emotions for the Lord. But when we knew when we knew kung ibuhat ni Jesus for us then mo to siya nga kanang nakita na to nga love gift ni Lord. Niya kanang in siya dire love is a choice and when we make that choice we emulate our savior so there is one quote sa love na ever since <coughs> yeah. so there's one quote sa love na ever since high school pag yung ko kanang mo gina ko ang kanang autograph Mm-mm. Yeah, what is love? Mogi na kapunay na ko yung so what? Love is a decision of will. It's not a pack of emotions. So, 
uh, ang encouragement nato for us couples this devotional for today's devotional is that kanang ug mabuto sa point nga mawad an ta kung love or emotional warmth for our kanang spouse then ayaw ayaw basihi nga ang imong emotions ang imong buhaton Okay, love is not a dis- uh, love is not a pack of emotions, man. It's a decision of will. So, even though wala ni mo na feel ang warmth sa imuhang feelings, you still do those love languages for your significant other para ma-feel niya nga gilove siya. And that way, kung ma-feel niya, ma-feel na niya ang warmth, then he is going to love you back and do those kind of love languages na kanang gikinhanglan po din. So, mo na siya. Okay. So, wala nang siyong pekadugan nito? No? Uh, Magpekita. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, mga ikson, mag-close ta sa prayer. <coughs> Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me so much that you died on the cross to save me. You are the ultimate example of love. Please help me to make a choice of love, my to love my spouse as I act loving. I know that loving feelings will come. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So, salamat kay ayo gihapon sa kanunay yung pagsubay bye and kita kids na puto ako mapapun. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. If this video has encouraged you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. God bless. See you.